After a fire destroyed the home of a Jackson gay rights activist, hundreds of people donated money to help Nikki Jolly recover from the huge loss. But today, prosecutors charged Jolly with starting that fire. The fire on August 10th of last year injured two firefighters and killed two dogs and three cats that were inside. But as investigators told our Megan Heiler, they suspected arson the very next day. Uh, I was outside and we were standing right outside and the house just started uh, blazing right up. Walter Harrell lives right next door to where the fire happened. He said it happened quickly and that Nikki Jolly kept coming back to the wreckage. No, I knew she had did it the whole time. What makes you think that? Because she was just suspect the whole time, yeah. And she ride by like every day. Harold says that struck him as odd. Police say that the investigation has been active and ongoing for the last year, but won't say what led them to Jolly. Still, they say Jolly has been a suspect for a while. It was determined to be an, an arson yeah, rather quickly, within within a few weeks at least of, of the actual fire. Jolie is, has been a suspect uh, for the majority of this case. Neighbors who know Jolly tell me they aren't buying it. Yolanda Harris lives next door to Jolly's new house just down the street. She is a loving parent to her animals. She has a dog now. She's outside with him all the time. She did not do this. Harris told me she helped raise money for the couple after the fire and has enjoyed their friendship throughout the past year, charges and all. I'm supporting her 100%. She did not do this. And that was Megan Heiler reporting. Police aren't saying what they believe led Jolly to start the fire. Jolly's lawyer says there will be no plea bargain and he looks forward to proving his client's innocence. Jolly faces life in prison if convicted of first degree arson. She's due back in court in October. We will, of course, keep you updated on the case as it moves toward trial.